y'all. Today we're back in the kitchen and I'm gonna show you guys how to make some green bean casserole. Oh, I'm having a whole lot of fun. Ready, here we go. Very good. Hi, welcome back to another edition of Cooking Chris's Dishes with the good old boy. And Aunt Lou. And today we're gonna make a very simple dish known as green bean casserole. You have some recipes that are advanced, you have some recipes that are beginner. If y'all just want to start out cooking, this is one way to do it and oh, impress yeah. the folks. Or, let's say you're an advanced person, you just want to make an easy dish. This is one way to do it. Green bean casserole goes with any holiday meal, side dish for any meal. Mm -hmm. It doesn't take that long to put together and it definitely doesn't take that long to cook. And everybody who likes green beans will be happy. Oh yeah, and also like... With holidays, speaking of making it out holidays, since it is kind of known as a holiday dish, it's, um, how many more times can I say holiday? Oh, um, <laughs> got till January 1. <laughs> Woohoo! Um, anyway, making it in your crock pot makes it so that you can free up your oven, which is a major plus because if you guys are like us, um, whenever we go and have meals at mom and dad's, me, Chris, and mom are trying to make everything and we always make way too much food mm -hmm. <laughs> and so we're trying to make everything all at once so the more we can put in our crock pots the more we don't have to fight for oven or stove space y'all have heard me talk so many times about kitchen real estate and how you want to spread that real estate out crock pots are a great way to do oh, it definitely. especially for holidays because you could take one little area and spread it out all over your kitchen your living room you could cook in your bathroom if you want to me i think it's kind of weird Maybe your pool house if that. you got one, something like that. But anywhere where you got an outlet, you can turn it into a yeah. kitchen using your crock pot. So what do we need for this dish, Lou? Okay, we need three 14 and a half ounce cans of green beans. Plop. Need these two. We'll talk about it. Plop. Don't throw those away. I'm going to say that's tops. Okie dokie. Plop. We'll set them over here. Okay. And then you need two. Oh, what are they making these? I never know if they make them 10 and three quarter ounce or 10 and a half ounce. They change up. Yep. Two of these, the regular size ones, of cream and mushroom. And so, do you have something? I don't think that. Ooh, okay. Oh, I got something. Yeah, use the little one. Here, you do that, and I'll start this one. Clean it up. And then, so you just put both of those in. And Ooh, oh whoa. my gosh! <laughs> did you see that? I did. <laughs> Oopsie. Got the ninja and my laptop. Yay! <laughs> Okay. One and two. And then all that's left for this part of the recipe is a third cup of milk. And um, so you just pour that on in. And um, if you are saying, but Aunt Lou, I don't like mushrooms. I don't either. But here's a little secret that I don't tell my husband who loves mushrooms. If you still want the flavor of mushrooms without the bigger chunks, I have found with most generic brands, you can still get the great flavor of cream and mushroom soup without the big old chunks. So you can kind of sneak that in there and just tell them you're saving money. Or if you don't like mushrooms so much that you won't do that. Or yeah. if you're allergic to mushrooms, cream of celery, oh, cream yeah. of chicken. Either one of those will work really well with yep, this yep, dish. Yep. So you just mix this up and then you're going to put it in your crock pot. If you are not using a nonstick crock pot, then you're going to want to spray it. But this is a nonstick. The Ninja does a really good job of letting things just slide off, kind of like Mr. Hamilton. Mm -hmm. And so you just pour this in and... Um, I think Mikey's itching to tell you about the French fried onions. Let's 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 really get serious, folks. Here, yeah. when we talk about green bean casserole, now everybody's thinking, well, that's a good way to get your veggies during the holidays with all that turkey and all them pies. Let's be honest; it's not because we want the green beans; it's because we want the French fried onions on top. And I'll be the one to tell you, I love green beans. I'll eat green beans anywhere it goes. But if you were to put French fried onions on liver. I would probably eat the liver and I'm not a liver kind of guy. You put french fried onions on anything, it's going to taste good. I would put french fried onions on my finger, but I'm afraid I would eat my finger right off. <laughs> so we were going to save these for later. And as Lou spreads that out, she's going to say that we cook this how? In a crock pot. On low for how long? 
um, for, isn't it two to three hours? Two to three hours on low and that and will so, be ready to go. And if you see what I'm doing right here, I'm just spreading it out so it's nice and even. And then after, um, and I'm going to get, I got some of it on the side and I just don't want that, you know, that'll cook up and burn and all that stuff. So I'm just going to wipe it off there. I'm going to the outside too where you're flinging. <laughs> now I've got a question though. Yes. How's come you don't put these on now? Because I don't want them to get soggy. Exactly. Because this isn't an oven. This is a slow cooker and all that steam is going to rise up it and we don't want mushy onions. So we're right, going right, to save right. these for the end. Oh my. So we will kick that on low for two to three hours and then when we come back we'll pop on our french fried onions mm -hmm. and go to town in three two one and we're done it's been two hours and the green bean casserole should be done yep let's see what we got going on here we got green beans in soup you can see right there it's got kind of browned up on the edges which is fine but oh. it yeah, smells, smells good. good now the last step in this is to put your onions on the casserole now since we're not going to leave that in the crock we're going to put it in something else we're going to leave that be and we're going to put it on our own, so we'll go ahead. Now, do you like oh, a literal or a lot? I like a lot. Well, then keep going because I do too. <laughs> there we go. I, I think that's probably enough. <laughs> so now let's try it out and see how she is. This is just green beans, a little bit of milk, cream of mushroom soup, and, and some french fried onions that. on top. What? That's why I blow on it first because I've done that very thing. Oh, it smells good. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. And by leaving the onions till the very end, they stay crunchy. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, that's good. Now, I'll tell you what, until I made this in my crock pot, I had never had green bean casserole before. I didn't know what I was missing. This is good stuff. This will make people eat the green beans even if they don't like green beans. Mm -hmm. And if you'll notice, one ingredient we did not put in this, salt. You don't need to. There's enough mm -hmm. in the soup and with the, with the flavors of the green beans and the onions. I think it's fine. Now, you want oh, to yeah. add some salt? You totally can. I'm not going to tell you not to. Mmm. <laughs> oh, my All right, really good. Whoa! Ooh! Didn't go on it long I enough. Know. Very good. Mmm. We want to thank y'all for watching another episode of Cooking Chris Dishes with me and Aunt Lou. And if you like what you saw, give us a thumbs up. And also, if you have not become a member of the Crop Posse, click that little subscribe button Join down us. below. Be a part of the Crop Posse family. Also, check us out over at patreon.com slash recipes that crock if you'd like to become a financial supporter of what you see here mm -hmm. and all the things that we do for the Crop Posse and whatever you do. Keep watching, and we'll keep cooking, and all oh, we'll will be, be well. well. See you later. <laughs> Bye. Hey, okay, that's your fork. This is my fork. Oh, this is my, this is my plate. Hey, check us out. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha pulls off hats much better than I do. She puts them on pretty good too. <laughs> you know why these tapings take so long and they're so fun to edit? <laughs> I, I don't think you're... It's you like taking serious. your child to Toys R Us for one thing. <laughs> that makes sense? So you know what you're gonna... <laughs> I don't get paid enough for this. <laughs>